Um, hello, Mr. Bulladin. You are the uh, unit chief at, uh, for water management at UNIDO. Uh, we're very happy to have you here today, and you'll be presenting UNIDO's work on water and energy a bit later on. Why is UNIDO doing all this work on water and energy? Uh, good morning. Uh, UNIDO stands for the United Nations Industrial Development Organization, and of course, by the name, UNIDO deals with industries and our primary clients are developing countries and economies in transition. So, um, the, in order to uh, approach uh, the needs of the developing countries, UNIDO has developed a so-called inclusive and sustainable industrial development concept. And in fact, uh, in December last year, UNIDO had its 15th uh, general conference in Lima, Peru, a so-called Lima II conference, and it uh, uh, approved the declaration on the inclusive and sustainable industrial development. And inclusive means that uh, all the partners should be taking uh, part in the process of development, and the partners are the private industry, UN of course, the governments, academia, and the financial institutions. But also a very important part is equal sharing of the results. And sustainable development, of course, I mean, following up on the Rio Plus 20 conference, UNIDO deals with the sustainable development to decouple the economic growth with the resource consumption. So for us, it's extremely important and energy and, and uh, water are the parts of the resources. And uh, because we deal with the enterprises, we work on the enterprise level, it's very natural for us to deal with resource consumption because if we take the enterprise as the manufacturing sector as the black box and we look into the inputs and the outputs water is an input energy is an input but also other resources are the inputs and we can kill all the birds if we do the enterprise audit not only for the energy and environment uh, I'm sorry, water, but also for the other resources and also effluents is a very important part because what's coming out of the factory gate as the water, as the discharges in the air, uh, on the soil. So that's why we believe that resource efficiency is extremely important and with that we can cover water and energy efficiency as the nexus. And for that, the UNIDO developed a so-called Green Industry Initiative which is the greening of the existing industries and also creation of the new uh, green industries. I hope it answers your question. It does, thank you very much. So here at the uh, Saragossa Annual International Conference, you'll be presenting UNIDO's recent work on all of this. What uh, type of feedback do you expect from the audience? Well, yes, ma'am. First of all, these, are, of course, are the issues or the questions, the nice uh, kind of the names, inclusive and sustainable industrial development, green industries. These are the um, policy initiatives. And now we need to see what would be uh, the responses to these initiatives. And then we are going to also uh, show and provide some examples what could be the tools to achieve the greening of the industries or creation of the new green industries. So, and we are going to present several cases. I think uh, one case we definitely is a UNIDO flag program in the transfer of environmentally sound technologies is the test, and particularly in the southern Mediterranean. And of course, we're going to talk about the partnerships, how the partnerships, the business partnerships can booster these types of the initiatives. So not only on we are raising the issues, but we are going to provide some of the answers of a win-win strategies. And what we expect is that first of all, uh, that we would the audience would be um, uh, we will raise awareness to the audience uh, with our success stories, I would say, and also we would like to see the feedbacks. What could we do more? What could we spread? And if we are talking about the partnerships, UN Water is about the partnerships, and also this conference is about the partnership. So we would like to definitely look for the new partners and see how we can jointly 
do a more holistic uh, and move towards the green industry and the green economy and the targets of the Rio Plus 20. And of course, we are right uh, before the new uh, sustainable development goals. So this is one of the issues which really, you know, entertains our minds for the future. So with these types of the initiative, we would like also to offer some of the solutions to uh, resolving the issues which might be again uh, highlighted in the new strategic uh, development goals after the year 2015.